That is gross. Yeah, no thanks. Welcome back. This weekend we're heading up camping and taking the toy hauler for its first proper little journey. We've already knocked out about two hours on the highway, just turned off onto the dirt, coming through some cane fields, and then we've got about a two or three hour drive, 50k up through a range road, up through the rainforest, heading up to a nice big waterfall. Toy hauler seems to be towing pretty nicely so far because the wheel track's the same width as the car. It doesn't feel like towing a caravan even though she's pretty long and a little bit tall, but it's going pretty good so far. Now getting into the rough sections, I'll probably air down the trailer, air down the car, maybe 25 PSI I reckon, just to make it a bit smoother. The only bit I'm worried about is the drawbar where I dog legged it. So uh, a lot of people think I'm a baller maker. No, um, but am I a pretty good welder? Also no, but uh, yeah, she's fully welded through the seam, fish plated, fully welded through that. I, look, I don't think it's gonna break, but who knows, I bought plenty of tools with me, so. Um, other than that, it's zip ties and 100 mile an hour tape. So yeah, let's um, air down, get cracking so we make good time, get into camp, have a beer. Probably do a bit of a time lapse along the way to show the tour hall of traveling up the range. And um, that's about it, let's get it.
into the campsite in one piece. She hasn't broken in half yet. It actually rode pretty good. I had down, obviously. We've seen the last clip, 25 yeah, psi, yeah. made it pretty good. She rides on pretty nicely. I think the dual axle, yeah, yeah. when you're floating over some yeah, of the, yeah. just like wash holes, yeah. potholes sort of thing, it floats yeah. over it pretty good. You still knock your speed down a bit, but you know, she goes pretty good. If I don't respond to anything, First night I'm sleeping in the rooftop tent, mattress top other that I threw in straight away before I even slept in it, put an eggshell topper in there. It's, uh, yeah, it makes a difference, but probably still not quite good enough. I might look for something a bit more premium, but no, she's pretty good. Now we're gonna go for a look around the top of the waterfalls up to look at and then go get some firewood, load it up for tonight and then probably drink some beers, chill out, go for a swim. So, we did it this time, I forgot my drone, but we hiked in on the right hand side. And that's the edge of the falls right there. Instant death. I don't know what it is, as I get older I get more scared of heights, I reckon it gives me the, the heebie jeebie. Rocks and four rods. It's a 90 meter drop off this one and a 270, I think it is, to the next one. Ooh. That is gross. Yeah, no thanks. Being a scene, I had a look. Let alone. I'm going to work our way back to camp, have a couple of beers, and go for a swim. <laughs> this makes me want to vomit. Welcome back. Tonight we're doing half cut strawberry jam dog damper. I don't, I don't think you can say that on YouTube. Anyway, we're gonna have a gaggling uh, audience back there. Anyway, let's give it a crack. Most ingredients here. Oh, look, look, look. Possum. Kids run them up, so that's gonna be good. Dad, record the possum. Yeah, it's a ferret. This is what Josh Record the possum. Oh, Adolf's back. It's not, it's not Yes. A it's not even a possum. What? It's like a, a little ferret. rat. Oh. That's King Rat. We thought Adolf the. Um, Possum was back. No, anyway, long right story. Right you might have seen that last one. Right. Not sure. That's King Rat. That's King Rat. So then we're going two cups of self-raising flour, half a cup of sugar, one cup of milk, two eggs. Combine, but not too much. And then you put it in a greased tray and then dump a big dollop of strawberry jam in the middle and then about 25 to 30 minutes in the camp oven. So let's get that done and throw it in and see how it goes. Two cups of self-raising flour. Boop, boop. I have no clue what that's a red one. Raw sugar. Yeah. Half a cup of that. Boop. Hey, Dad. Two eggs. What you should do is catch that rat and put it in one of the pots. Oh, no. I smacked the <laughs> out of that. Good work. Too strong. Don't know my own strength. Hercules. Let's try the next one. Master Chef. Bing, 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 bing. Two eggs. Yeet. That's all of it. Mix that together. Some, oh no, the milk. Milk. <laughs> Cup of milk. Bloop. Sort of making this like clag glue. Like there's really not much. It's got sugar in it, I guess. Mm. What flavour jam are you putting in? Strawberry. Yum. Don't do plum. Don't do plum. Tastes like Dr. Bye. Pepper. <laughs> Rancid acid something like I'm, I'm, I made it at home in a fire pit once. Yeah, it was not good That's mixed just enough to get it into a bit of a claggy sort of damper. Don't want to mix it too much Dump that in here Let's make a hole in the middle in the middle. Hold up. <laughs> that 
<laughs> Big jam drop donut, pretty much. Wow. Well, Put a trivet in the middle of the camp oven. Put the lid on. That is hot, eh? That is super hot. Might be 20 minutes. Yeah. Holy doy. That's... Yow! It's like burning. Can't get close to that. Okay. A little bit of coals. Drop that on. Bailey, could identify you. That's what you are saying. She was behind the car. You have been like, you could 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 have 20 minutes or so, we'll check back. I don't know, 20 minutes is up. Come on, take that off. Oh, that is hot. That's probably done, eh? Then we underestimated the coals. Let's get that off. Hot, hot, hot. Might almost be on fire. Why did we do so many coals? Stay there. <coughs> that might even be burnt, eh? On the bottom. Well, one side's black. Yeah. Well, no, I never burnt a roast before tonight, and it was burnt. It was those coals no, cooking, man. Ah. Super hot. Not bad. So this was the point as usual where I got on the beers and didn't film much more. So we'll wrap it up here and I'll see you back at home where we'll check out how the trailer went after the trip up and back. Back at home in one piece. The trailer went really, really well. Nothing broke. Still gonna do this spare tire mount on the front. That's just temporary. But yeah, the only thing is the mud spray. So the mud flaps on the Prado are those hard plastic ones and they just break off when you go forward driving. So there's not a lot of mud flap there. And on the wet road was just spraying mud in these big stripe patterns up the front here. So not such a big deal. I could get one of them big uh, rock tamer things across the back, but I don't really like them. But um, getting mud on here is fine. The only bit is I might put some plastic caps in the ends of these RHS sections just to stop it going down all those channels because there is wiring and stuff in there for the clearance lights. But other than that, pretty happy with it. Toes really comfortably, like I said at the start, because I... Uh, narrowed the design and made the wheel track the same as a Toyota Hilux, Toyota Prado, that sort of stuff. You don't notice it behind you like a caravan, so pretty happy with it so far. Can to get out and use it more. Still got the whole canopy fit out coming up. I've got a full Red Arc Red Vision set up, 200 amp hour lithium battery. Gonna start on that pretty soon, but I've got a stack of other projects on the go as well. Got the new Kings 270 awning to fit and review that. I oh, probably can see in the background there, also bought a road registered dirt bike to start doing some adventure bike content. So if you like all that sort of stuff, subscribe, like the video, really helps out. If you like the little Blanco video, didn't cover too much of Blanco Falls. I did a previous one. I'll put it in the end screen here somewhere and go back and check that out. And if you want to know more about the toy hauler build, I'll put the playlist here somewhere and you can jump right back to the start and watch the whole build series over the last 18 months. Righto, that's it for another one. See you next time.